can also install fonts exclusively for the use of Illustrator or all Adobe applications, but nothing else on the system. When would this be useful? Well, admittedly, it's rare. Typically, you would install fonts only for the use of Adobe applications or Illustrator specifically, only when you have licensing concerns, such as when the fonts come from a client and are only authorized to be used on a particular project or group of projects. IT departments in particular like to be able to install fonts for the use of only certain applications. Let's install these fonts for Illustrator and then for all Adobe applications, first on Mac and then we'll do it on Windows. First, ensure that Illustrator is closed. It can't be open when you install fonts. On your Mac, have open a window showing the fonts that you want to install. Then open another Finder window and choose Go, Applications, navigate to your Adobe Illustrator CC folder, and look for a Fonts folder. If it isn't there, create the new folder and name it Fonts. Then all you have to do is take all the fonts you want installed just for Illustrator and drag them into that folder. Hold the Option key if you want to make a copy instead of moving them. Now when you launch Illustrator, those fonts will be at your disposal, but they won't be accessible in any other application. To install fonts that are accessible to Illustrator and all the other Adobe applications on your system, go to the Go menu, Computer, Macintosh hard drive or whatever you've named your hard drive, Library, Application Support, Adobe. Now inside the Adobe folder, look for a folder called Fonts. If you don't see fonts, you'll have to create it just like we did in the Illustrator folder. So I'm going to click the New Folder button here and name the folder Fonts. Then take all these fonts that you want to add and drag or option drag them into the folder. And now when you launch Illustrator, Photoshop, or InDesign, those fonts will be available to those applications but not in any other applications installed on the system. Now let's do the Windows side. In an Explorer window, go to your C drive, Program Files, Adobe, and then to the version of Illustrator that you have, in my case it's CC 2015, and then look for a Fonts folder. If you don't already have a Fonts folder, create one. Here I'm right-clicking and choosing New Folder, and then I'll name it Fonts. Into this Fonts folder, I will drag the fonts I want to install exclusively for Illustrator's use. Holding the Control key lets me create a copy of those files instead of moving them to the new Fonts folder. If prompted, give Windows permission to complete the installation. To install your fonts so that they're available to all your Adobe applications, go back to your C drive, then into Program Files, Common Files, Adobe, and look for a fonts folder there. Now you have fonts recommended and fonts required. Those are not the same thing. Ignore those and create a new folder called fonts if you don't already have one that is simply named fonts. Then into that new fonts folder, drag the font you want to install to be accessible to all of your Adobe applications. Once you start up Illustrator or Photoshop or InDesign or something else, all those fonts will be available to that application.